yeah, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside in our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's get started. Goku's sensitivity, perceiving the cosmic threat. As Goku persists in his intense training in the time chamber, his intuitive connection to cosmic energies alerts him to an unusual presence. A frown reveals his concentration and concern, even in the midst of rigorous training. Mm. <sighs> Something is different in a cosmos. I can feel a strange energy. Goku stops his exercises and closes his eyes, extending his senses beyond the time chamber. His perception stretches across the vast cosmos, picking up on a disturbance in energies, a force that is approaching at surprising speed. It looks... It looks like an incredible force is on the way, and it's not something I've ever felt before. A sense of urgency washes over Goku as he tries to understand the nature of this imminent threat. Even inside the time chamber, where time flows in a unique way, Goku feels that something big is happening outside. Is it a new technique? No. This goes further beyond. It's something divine. Upon opening his eyes, Goku decides to stop his training for a moment. He focuses on the source of the unknown energy, trying to decipher its intentions. Meanwhile, in the other corners of the Universe 7, unrest begins to spread. Lord Kai, Whis, and even Beerus feel the cosmic disturbance, each reacting in their own unique way to the imminent arrival of the Free Deities. The Divine Dialogue Meeting of the Free Deities In the vastness of the unknown galaxy, the newly free deities gather on a cosmic plane. Five towering presences, each personifying a vital aspect of the universe. The God of Time, the God of War, the God of Death, the God of the Sun, and the God of Strength. The God of Time, with an aura of wisdom and patience. Our freedom has finally arrived. After eons of confinement, we are free to shape the cosmos as we wish. The God of War, an imposing figure carrying the energy of battle, responds with ferocity. Cosmic wars will be fought, and unparalleled strength will be ours. No universe will escape our influence. The God of Death, a dark and enigmatic being, adds his macabre version. An eternal dance of light and death will be ours. No being will be separate from our touch. The Sun God, radiant and imposing, speaks majestically. The light that gives life can also consume. Balance will be restored under my reign. The God of Strength, a colossal presence emanating power. Brute strength is the essence of the universe. Where there is resistance, there will be dominance. The deities, now freed from their prisons, begin to weave the destinies of the known and unknown universes. Their intentions remain hidden, but the threat they pose echoes beyond the stars. In Universe 7, Goku and other powerful beings begin to feel the reverberation of these divine presences as the cosmos prepares for a cosmic reset of unimaginable proportions. Tenkai, the manifestation of ultimate strength. The god of strength, whose name echoes like cosmic thunder, Tenkai, reveals his commanding presence at the divine gathering. His colossal body exudes an unstoppable aura, while his voice resounds like the roar of a hurricane. Divine Brotherhood, hear me! This universe, Universe 7, is the stage for powerful warriors who defy the forces of the cosmos. I, Tenkai, claim this domain as mine. Tenkai's declaration reverberates through the far reaches of space, reaching the years of powerful and deadly beings in Universe 7. Goku, even inside the time chamber, feels the intensity of Tenkai's presence. This energy is formidable. Someone is trying to rule Universe 7. The gods surrounding him at the meeting listen respectfully as Tenkai continues. 
Here in this universe, we will face formidable challenges. But I, as the embodiment of strength, will triumph over any opposition. This universe will yield to my will. The threat of Tenkai looms like a cosmic storm over Universe 7, as the God of Strength proclaims his intentions to rule. A wind of unrest begins to blow through the celestial realms and among mortal warriors. Meanwhile, Beerus and Whis, who prepare to face the free deities, notice Tenkai's overwhelming presence. This force. It's as if the universe itself is about to collide. It's Tenkai. He is a threat that far exceeds our expectations, Lord Beerus. The universe 7 now hangs in a balance. This god of strength, Tenkai. He wants to rule all over Universe 7, and he will face whoever defies him. If he wins, a new era will begin. Be ready, Lord Beerus. The Divine Dilemma Beerus faces Tenkai's supremacy. Tenkai's towering declaration resonates through the far reaches of Universe 7 sending ripples of apprehension to the highest echelons of the Divine Realms. We look at Beerus with a worried expression as the God of Destruction ponders the situation. Tenkai declarates himself as a dominant force, but we cannot forget that in this universe, Goku takes on a role that transcends even mine as God of Destruction. But Lord Beerus, is Goku ready to face the threat of such magnitude? <laughs> Goku has shown incredible power, and according to divine hierarchies, he could play an even more crucial role in this universe. Meanwhile, Goku inside the time chamber feels the intensity of Tenkai's energy and stops his straining, realizing that something of cosmic proportions is unfolding. <sighs> this energy, it's like a tsunami is coming! I have to get ready. I need to get stronger! <laughs> the question is, should we interfere? Tenkai is not a god of destruction, and Goku... Goku is more than a simple warrior. The cosmic balance is at stake, Lord Beerus. The decision we make will have profound repercussions. The arrival of Tenkai, the beginning of the cosmic storm, Days passed since the proclamation of Tekai, the god of strength, who announced his desire to dominate Universe 7. On his journey through unknown galaxies, he gathers a retinue of minions, cosmic entities who have sworn loyalty to his cause. Finally, Tenkai and his followers, with their pulsing energies, materialize on the edge of Universe 7. A sinister atmosphere hovers in space as Tenkai's oppressive presence makes itself felt. Here we are, my loyal followers! Universe 7 is before us! Ready to be rewritten in my image! His minions, dark and powerful figures, share sinister laughter. Tenkai, shrouded in an impenetrable aura, stares towards the heart of the universe he seeks to rule. The time has come to begin. Prepare to witness the rise of supremacy! A cosmic roar echoes as Tenkai, with his followers in tow, enters Universe 7. News of his arrival spread across the Divine Realms, reaching Beerus, Whis, Goku, and other powerful warriors. Goku, noticing the intensification of energy, leaves the time chamber, aware that the cosmic storm is about to unleash. Meanwhile, Beerus and Whis exchange glances, recognizing that the moment of crucial choices is approaching. The cosmic fanfic enters a critical phase, where Universe 7 is about to witness the overwhelming arrival of Tenkai and his minions. The battle between divine and cosmic forces is about to begin. Goku realizes the invasion, the call to action. Goku, fresh from the time chamber, feels a disturbing energy spreading across the earth. His warrior instincts kick in as he realizes something is terribly wrong. This feeling, 
Something isn't right. I need to train more. But this strange energy... Before Goku can take any action, a dimensional portal opens before him, revealing the arrival of Tenkai's followers, who begin to materialize on Earth. What's that? This energy is getting more intense! With a determined look, Goku prepares to face the approaching threat. He knows that even after his training in the time chamber, this new energy is unlike anything he has faced before. As Goku prepares to end the impending battle, Whis and Beerus in the far reaches of space also sense the cosmic disturbance and realize that the Tenkai invasion is unfolding on Earth. It seems our choice was made for us, Whis. We cannot remain oblivious to this. It's time to act, Lord Beerus. Universe 7 is on the brink of a cosmic war, and Goku, driven by his instinct to protect Earth, prepares to face the Tenkai invasion. The battle for the fate of the universe is about to begin. The Order of Tenkai, Remen and the Onslaught against Goku. Tenkai, noticing Goku and Vegeta's powerful energies, decides to act immediately. He turns to Ramen, one of his trusted lackeys, and issues in a direct order. Ramen, there are two warriors on Earth with considerable powers. Goku and Vegeta. Go there and solve this problem. Ramen, a shadowy figure with a sinister presence, bows before Tenkai and accepts the mission with a malicious smile. Understood, my lord. These Sioux will no longer be an obstacle. Ramen, with surprising speed, travels through dimensional portals and appears in front of the Kamisama's temple where Goku is. Goku, the chosen one of Tenkai. This is the end for you. <laughs> Who are you? And why are you here? I am Ramen, Tenkai's loyal servant. He sent me to take care of you. Prepare to be annihilated. <laughs> the battle between Goku and Ramen. Tenkai's emissary is about to begin. As Tenkai watches from space, confident in his minion's ability to overcome any obstacle. The fate of Universe 7 hangs in a balance as cosmic forces clashes on Earth. Goku unleashes Ultra Instinct, the answer to Tenkai's minions. Faced with a threat posed by Ramen, Goku, with a serious and determined eyes, decides that there is no time for hesitation. He focused, challenging all the energy around him as a silver aura begins to surround him. If that's how you wanted to go, then let's do it! In an instant, Goku activates Ultra Instinct, a divine manifestation of power that transcends even the abilities of a Saiyan. His body moves with unparalleled grace and efficiency, as he faces Ramen with a calm expression. Interesting. Your power is impressive, Goku. But you're still just some mortal. Goku, moving at a speed that defies comprehension, dodges Ramen's attacks and counterattacks with a series of incredibly fast strikes. You're underestimating mortals. This is the power of Ultra Instinct. Goku's every move is a celestial dance, an instantaneous response to his opponent's movements. Ramen, surprised by Goku's speed and skill, begins to realize that this battle will not be as easy as he imagined. Vegeta completes his training, the threat to Capsule Corporation. Vegeta, dedicated to reaching new heights of power, completes his rigorous training in the artificial chamber built by Bulma. Its pulsating aura reveals the intensity of power accumulated during his training time. Upon emerging from the chamber, Vegeta is ready to face any challenge that may arise. However, as he leaves, he notices a disturbance in the atmosphere. Capsule Corporation, which should be a place of tranquility, is now engulfed in chaos and destruction. What's going on here? Vegeta, with a serious expression, flies towards the source of the disturbance. Upon arriving, he encounters one of Tenkai's lackeys, who's wrecking Havok and threatening the Capsule Corporation employees. You're a mere mortal! Get out of my way! Vegeta, with determination in his eyes, responds. Destroying Capsule Corporation is a mistake you will pay dearly for! The battle between Vegeta and Tenkai's lackeys begin. Explosion echo through the arena as Vegeta demonstrates the power he has gained during his intense training. 
Tenkai's minions, however, is no ordinary opponent. And the battle intensifies with each passing moment. Meanwhile, Goku faces Ramen in another location. Both Saiyans fighting to protect what is most important to them in a face of the growing Teikai threat. Universe 7 is plunged into chaos, and the battle for Earth's survival and defense has begun. The Awakening of Ultra Ego, Vegeta against Muchiro. As Vegeta faces Tenkai's first minion at Capsule Corporation, a distorted and evil figure appears from space. This entity, known as Muchiro, was summoned by Tenkai to eliminate Vegeta and ensure that the threat from the Universe 7 Warriors is neutralized. Vegeta, you are the next victim in the march of Tenkai's supremacy. Supremacy? Ha! Don't make me laugh! I see nothing but a bunch of powerless lackeys! Before Muchiro can react, Vegeta activates a form of power that he barely understands, but which resonates with incredible intensity. A golden, pulsating aura surrounds Vegeta, indicating the awakening of Ultra Ego. This is Ultra Ego. Prepare to know the power that surpasses even divine instincts. <laughs> the battle between Vegeta and Muchiro unfolds with unparalleled ferocity. The heavens shake with the exchange of blows and explosions of energy. Vegeta's purple aura shines like a star as he demonstrates impressive mastery over Ultra Ego. This is impossible! How can a mortal possess such power? Beerus assess the situation, the growing threat to Universe 7. Faced with the chaos unfolding on Earth, Beerus, the god of destruction of Universe 7, talks to Whis about the growing threat looming over the planet. Whis, it looks like things have gotten quite interesting in Universe 7. What's going on? Lord Beerus, it seems that Tenkai, an unknown god, has decided to directly attack Earth. His minions are creating considerable chaos. Hmm. Goku and his friends will have to deal with this. But are they up to the task? Goku and Vegeta continue training intensely. They may surprise, but even so, the threat is great. <sighs> if Earth is in danger, it is my duty to intervene. I'm going there. Hmm. Let's hope Goku and Vegeta are up to the task. The scales of Universe 7 is tipping in a dangerous direction. Let's go. Goku shines in battle. The admiration of Dende and Mr. Popo. As Goku continues his intense battle against Ramen, Tenkai's lackey, his advantage becomes more and more evident. Ultra Instinct's enhanced abilities makes him an unstoppable force, and his graceful movements will stun even the most skilled opponent. Meanwhile, Dende and Mr. Popo watch the fight from a raised platform at Kami Temple. It's amazing how Goku managed to get even stronger. This form is truly surprising. Yes, he has reached a new level of power. I am impressed. I'm impressed. Goku, in the middle of the fight, notices the presence of Dende and Mr. Popo and smiles, indicating that he is aware of his audience. Hey, Dende! Mr. Popo! I'm trying to outdo myself here! Goku, it's like you're in another level! This ability is incredible! <laughs> Don't get distracted, Goku! As the fight continues, Dende and Mr. Popo continue to admire Goku's mastery on the battlefield. They know that although the threat is great, Goku is a living hope for Universe 7. <laughs> is that all you got? The twist. Ramen takes an unexpected hostage. The intense battle between Goku and Ramen reaches its climax. With Goku preparing to deliver the final blow and end the conflict, the surrounding environment is charged with energy and Ultra Instinct's aura shines brightly. It's time to end this, Ramen! However, Rami, in a moment of cunning, begins to laugh sinisterly. <laughs> so really naive, saying, Do you think you can win so easily? Before Goku can react, hmm, Rami, with surprising speed, disappears and instantly reappears behind Dente, taking him hostage. <laughs> <laughs> Dante! It seems like the situation is in my favor now, doesn't it? Aww. 
If you want your friend to be safe, I suggest you lure the ridiculous power. <laughs> Goku, furious and worried about Dende, lets his guard down, aware that a reckless move could put his friend's life in danger. Yes, that's right, Goku. Now give me what I want, or the Namekian Priestess here will suffer the consequences. The twist puts Goku in a delicate position as the cosmic battle pit takes a new dimension of danger. Ramen, smiling malevolently, waits to see how Goku will react to this unexpected situation. Goku in the parallel dimension, the unexpected challenge. Goku, now trapped in the parallel dimension created by Ramen, looks around, noticing that the environment is alien and surreal. The laws of physics seems to follow no known pattern making it difficult to even discern the right direction. Damn it, that wasn't supposed to happen. How will I get to help my friends now? While Goku assesses the situation, he tries to focus his key to locate a way out. But the energies of the parallel dimension seems to distort even his perceptions. <laughs> Damn it! Meanwhile, back on Earth, Dande and the other warriors watch helplessly. Goku! Damn it! What do we do now? If he's stuck somewhere, we'll find him out. Ramen will pay for this. Dende, Vegeta, and the other warriors of Universe 7 prepare to face the threat that has befallen them, without the presence of their most powerful warrior. As Goku faces challenges in the parallel dimension, he focuses on remaining calm. If there's a way out here, there must be a way out of here. I need to find a way out. <laughs> Concentrate. Concentrate, Goku. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Vegeta in challenge. Muchiro's menace. As Goku struggles to find a way out in a parallel dimension, the battle on Earth continues. Vegeta faces Muchiro, Tenkai's second lackey, who laughs sinisterly, taking advantage of the confusion caused by Goku's situation. Oh, how funny. Your Saiyan friend has already been defeated. Now it is your turn. So-called Prince of All Saiyans. Hmm. <laughs> you really don't know Kakarot, do you? You will pay for underestimating a Saiyan! The battle between Vegeta and Muchiro begins with increasing intensity. Both warriors exchange quick, powerful blows, creating shockwaves that echo across the battlefield. Vegeta, fueled by the desire to protect his planet and his loved ones, rises to the challenge with ferocity. As the fight unfolds, Muchiro laughs again, taunting Vegeta. <laughs> Your friend is lost in some unknown place. And you're here, fighting against me. What a waste of effort. Hmm. Kakarot will find this way out. And when he does, you'll regret ever crossing paths with Saiyans. And you regret underestimating us. The rise of true power. Vegeta unleashes Ultra Ego. As Munchido taunts Vegeta, the latter finds himself on the receiving end of a series of powerful attacks. The Saiyan warrior, however, seems to absorb each blow with a thoughtful expression. Kakarot really is an idiot, always letting himself down, trusting that he will find a way to win at the last minute. Putting his god down is pathetic. <laughs> You are realizing you don't stand a chance against me, Prince of all Saiyans! Don't you underestimate me, you fool. Vegeta's burst of power is overwhelming. His speed increases exponentially, and each blow delivered is accompanied by wave of pulsating energy. Muchiro, surprised by this turn of events, tries to fight back. But Vegeta seems to have reached a level beyond that Tenkai's lackey could have predicted. This indicating... He is activating Ultra Ego's true power. What? What is this? What kind of power is this? This is the true power of Ultra Ego. <laughs> Something Kakarot has not yet achieved. Vegeta's fury, Muchiro's defeat and renewed determination. As the battle reaches a critical point, Vegeta driven by fury and the protection of his family, reaches a new height of power. Muchiro's provocative words rings in his ears, igniting his fear and anger. Nobody attacks my wife's house! 
Nobody messes with Boomer! An intense purple aura radiates from Vegeta, forming a resplendent final flash. Muichiro, still confident, is surprised by the Prince of All Saiyans' explosion of power. The energy beam cuts through the skies like a sharp blade, colliding directly with Muichiro, Tenkai's minion. Unable to withstand the magnitude of the attack is swallowed by the dazzling explosion. <sighs> Nobody threatens my family and goes unpunished. Muchiro, defeated and weakened, can barely move. With one last display of power, Vegeta delivers a decisive blow, ending the battle. The Earth stabilizes after the confrontation. But Vegeta, despite the victory, is not satisfied. Now, I need to find a way out to bring Kakarot back. The search for Kakarot. Dende is in danger. With a victory over Muchiro, Vegeta cannot feel Goku's energy, but a memory lights up in his mind. He remembers that Goku was training in the time chamber and decides to investigate. Vegeta teleports to Kamisama's temple, where he hopes to find Goku or some clue as to his whereabouts. Upon arriving, he comes across Mr. Popo, who welcomes him seriously. Where's Kakarot? I can't feel his presence. Vegeta, things have gotten complicated. Dende was captured by Ramen. Who the hell is Ramen? Vegeta, with serious eyes, clenches his fists. The situation becomes even more serious, and the mission to rescue Goku gains a new obstacle. And where did this Ramen take Dende? I need to find Kakarot, and Dende may have information. I believe Garamin took him to the parallel dimension. <sighs> Vegeta, without hesitation, prepares for another journey. He knows that rescuing Dende is crucial not only for the safety of Universe 7, but also to discovering Goku's fate. I'll go find Dende, you useless worm. Inform the other warriors about what happened. Tenkai's pride, the strongest defeated. As Vegeta prepares to rescue Dende on Earth, in another location, Tenkai, the god of strength, is alongside his minions, enjoying apparent victory. Ramen, Muchiro. It seems that the so-called strongest in Universe 7 was easily defeated. How pathetic. Tenkai's minions laugh in unison, sharing their master's mockery. Our enemies are nothing compared to the strength of Tenkai. <laughs> Peril Dimension did a great job. And now, Dende is in our hands. Tenkai, enveloped in an aura of superiority, contemplates the events that had unfolded. Universe 7 is weak. My power is unparalleled. Destruction is near! The fallen gods laugh again, believing that their victory over Dende and Goku's apparent defeat are signs that Tenkai's rise to ultimate power is inevitable. The cosmic narrative forks, with the warriors of Universe 7 facing challenges on multiple fronts, while Tenkai proclaims his supremacy with triumphant laughter. As Tenkai proclaims his supremacy and prepares to transform Universe 7 into his own sphere of influence, an unlikely group of warriors emerged to challenge the looming threat. Goten, Trunks, Krillin, Yamcha, and Tenshihan, although not the same level as Goku and Vegeta, face Tenkai and his minions with determination. We won't let you destroy our universe! We have fought before, and we will fight again. The confidence and courage of these earthly warriors stand out, surprising Tenkai and his minions. Oh, who are these? Insignificant warriors. Hm, it's not worth our time. However, before they could underestimate the ground warriors, the energy of these fighters begin to increase. Goten and Trunks fuse to form Gotenks, and Krillin, Yamcha, and Tenshihan push their powers to the limits. We, we may not, not be as strong as our dads, dads but don't, don't underestimate Earth's defenders! The Earth Warriors launch a joint attack. Surprising Tenkai and his minions, the cosmic narrative takes an unexpected turn, 
with resistance coming from unlikely sources as earthly warriors defend their planet against the forces of the God of Strength and his followers. Earth Awakens – Tenkai's Reaction Tenkai's surprise at the earthly warriors is evident, but he quickly recovers, releasing a laugh that resonates throughout the area. <laughs> it seems that there are more powerful warriors on this planet than I imagined. But it doesn't matter. None of you are a match for the power of the God of Strength! Tenkai's lackeys, Rami and Muchiro, observe the situation with some disdain. But Tenkai interrupts them with a gesture. Don't, don't underestimate your opponents! Let's have some fun before conquering this universe! Tenkai, with a wave of his hand, releases a massive wave of energy, increasing his own strength to an even more frightening level. Oh, <laughs> looks like he's taking it seriously now. Earthly warriors will discover what happens when they defy a god. The Divine Confrontation Tenkai and his minions against the Z Warriors. With a confident smile, Tenkai prepares for battle alongside his other three minions, whose abilities have remained hidden until now. Now we'll see what these Earth Warriors are capable of. The Z Warriors face the four opponents, knowing they are about to face a threat like never before. An intense aura surrounds Tenkai and his minions, indicating that the battle is about to begin. The first of the lackeys steps forward. A mysterious being clad in black armor that glows with an ethereal glow. I am Zirath, the emissary of shadows. Prepare yourselves for the darkness that will swallow your hopes. As Zirath advances, the Z Warriors prepare for battle. However, before they can react, the second minion emerges, a swift and elegant figure. I am Velara, the Swift Shadow. Your movements won't be able to keep up with me. <laughs> Velara disappears in a burst of speed, leaving the Z Warriors perplexed by the supernatural agility. The third minion reveals himself, an imposing and sinister presence. I am Malthor, the Reaper of Desolation. Witness the annihilation I will bring. Malthor unleashes a dark aura, leaving the Z fighters on edge at the evil presence he exudes. The cosmic narrative reaches a new climax as the Z warriors face Tenkai and his minions, each possessing unique and menacing abilities. The fate of Universe 7 hangs in a balance, and Earth's heroes face a divine challenge like never before. The determination of the young warriors. Goten and Trunks take responsibility. As the cosmic battle unfolds before them, Goten and Trunks, the young Saiyan warriors, share a determined look. Looks like the adults are busy. We're going to have to hold our own, Trunks. Of course, Goten. We can't let these guys destroy the Earth. Despite the gravity of the situation, a confident smile appears on the young Saiyan's faces. They understand that the responsibility now falls on their shoulders. Let's do this for our parents and everyone on Earth! We're not kids anymore! It's time to show them what we're capable of! The two prepare to enter the battle, aware that they are about to face powerful and unknown adversaries. The cosmic narrative gains an element of generational continuity, with Goten and Trunks ready to defend the planet they love so much. While adults face divine threats, Earth's youth take on a role of defending Universe 7. The Z Warriors may be scattered, but hope remains alive in the hands of the youngest Saiyans. Vegeta's Fury – The Rise of Ultra Ego's True Power On the battlefield, Vegeta watches Tenkai's minions with growing indignation. The situation becomes unbearable for the Prince of All Saiyans and he decides to no longer suppress his true power. An intense glow surrounds Vegeta as his energy reaches a whole new level. His expression hardens, and a fiery aura radiates from him. No more games! You will pay dearly for messing with the Prince of All Saiyans! 
Tenkai's minions, although confident previously, feel the change in the atmosphere. Zerath, Villara, and Malthor step back, momentarily surprised by Vegeta's sudden intensity. What? What happened? I'm tired of playing this game. This is my true power! Vegeta advances with surprising speed, attacking with a parallel ferocity. His blows are quick, precise, and loaded with devastating force. Impossible! He's, he's on a completely different level! <laughs> the Reaper did not expect this. Vegeta's fury resonates across the battlefield, shocking not only Tenkai's minions, but also the Z-Warriors and even Tenkai himself, who watches with a more serious expression. The cosmic narrative takes a new turn, with Vegeta revealing his true power, the Ultra Ego. The fate of Universe 7 hangs in a balance as the Prince of All Saiyans shows what it means to unleash his full wrath. Gohan's Resilience, the Union with Piccolo. As Vegeta unleashes his overwhelming fury, Gohan feels the need to enter the battle alongside Piccolo. Both, aware of the imminent threat, decide to join forces to face Tenkai's minions. Mr. Piccolo, it seems like it's time to show what we can do together. I'm ready, Gohan. Let's do our best. The battlefield lights up with Gohan and Piccolo intensity of energy. Gohan, with calm determination, unleashes his most powerful form, while Piccolo focuses his energy and strategic skills. This is the form I have achieved during training with my father. Let's finish off these minions. Gohan advances with impressive speed, attacking with precise and powerful blows. Piccolo moves strategically, covering the gaps left by Gohan and creating openings for efficient counterattacks. Tenkai's minions, initially confident, now face formidable resistance. Zerath, Velara, and Malthor fight to maintain their positions in the face of the unexpected alliance between Gohan and Piccolo. <clears throat> These two are much more powerful than we imagined. We cannot underestimate the strength of unity. Gohan and Piccolo, in perfect synchronization, begin to defeat most of Tenkai's minions, creating an opening for the Z-Warriors to battle. The dynamics between warriors, joining forces across Universe 7. Although Vegeta initially rejects the idea of receiving help, the dynamic between the warriors developed in a unique way. Gohan, demonstrating his maturity and commitment to the cause, ignores Vegeta's objection and decides to join forces with Piccolo. Mr. Vegeta, this isn't a matter of individual pride. We're fighting for Universe 7, aren't we? We need to work together. <clears throat> All right, do as you wish, boy. I'm going to finish off this Tenkai guy alone. Despite Vegeta's wars, the unlikely alliance between the warriors demonstrate their cohesion when facing enemies. Gohan, Piccolo, and Vegeta attack in coordination, complementing each other's abilities. Tenkai's minions, now facing not only Vegeta's uncontrollable fury, but also Gohan and Piccolo's strategy, began to feel the pressure. Zerath, Velara, and Malthor, who were previously confident, now begin to realize the true strength of Universe 7's warriors. As the battle rages, the cosmic narrative highlights the importance of collaboration between the warriors. Even in the face of the differences in personality and approach, the union of the heroes proves to be crucial in defending Universe 7 against the forces of Tenkai. The defeat of the minions, Tenkai's awakened wrath. The collaboration between Gohan, Piccolo, and Vegeta proves to be formidable as they face Tenkai's minions. With strategy, strength, and unique skills, they defeat each of those shadow emissaries. This is to protect our universe! We will not fail! <laughs> Pathetic. They weren't even a challenge. With the minions defeated, Tenkai watches the scene with groaning indignation. His serene expression now turns into a divine fury. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How dare you! Overpowering energy emanates from Tenkai, creating shockwaves that echo across the battlefield. 
He who previously remained calm now reveals his true anger at the defeat of his emissaries. You insolent worms! Tenkai raises his hand, summoning cosmic powers that transcends the understanding of the Sea Warriors. A divine aura surrounds him as he prepares to retaliate against those who dare defy him. The warriors, despite their momentary victory, feel the weight of Tenkai's wrath. The cosmic narrative reaches at new heights, as the heroes of Universe 7 now faces not only just minions, but the wrath of a god whose pride has been wounded. The fate of Universe 7 remains uncertain in the face of Tenkai's awakened wrath. The twist. Tenkai reveals its true power. Tenkai's aura grows and glows brightly as he, enraged, decides to not only defeat but also absorb the powers of his own defeated minions. A sinister energy fills the battlefield, leaving Gohan, Piccolo, and Vegeta in an increasingly delicate situation. You dare defy my emissaries! Now you will feel the power of a god! Tenkai raises his hand and the minion's body disappears in ray of light, being absorbed by the furious god. His power increases exponentially and Gohan, Piccolo, and Vegeta expressions change from confidence to concern. <laughs> this can't be good. <laughs> Damn it! The depleted energy of the Universe 7 warriors became evident as they faced Tenkai's newfound fury. Powerful blows are dealt, and the three warriors struggle to maintain standing in the face of the rage god's overwhelming strength. Goku's return, the promise to save Universe 7. While Gohan, Piccolo, and Vegeta face Tenkai's heightened wrath, an intense explosion occurs in a time chamber. Goku who was trapped in a dimension sealed by ramen, breaks through the dimensional barriers with a blast of energy. Whew! Finally, I'm out of this dimension! Looks like the party started without me! <laughs> Sensing the intensity of the situation, Goku focuses his energy and teleports to the battlefield. His serious face reflects his understanding of the gravity of the situation. What's going on here? Upon observing Tenkai and the Z Warriors unequal fight, Goku understands that he needs to intervene immediately. It looks like you guys had a busy day! And now that I'm here, let's solve this together! Uh, Dad! Hm. Took you long enough, Kakarot. Just in time, Goku. Looks like we're going to need all the power we can get. The cosmic narrative takes a new turn with the return of Goku, promising a turnaround in the battle against Tenkai. Now, with all the warriors gathered, hope of saving Universe 7 is rekindled in the face of the imminent threat. Goku's last stand, a Saiyan's determination. Goku, with a serious and determined expression, looks at his teammates. Everyone, move away. I will solve this alone. <laughs> Dad, are you all right? Trust me, Gohan. I'll deal with Tenkai. The Z Warriors retreat, giving Goku space to face Tenkai. A pulsating energy surrounds Goku as he prepares for battle. Thinking you can face me alone, Saiyan? <laughs> that is insane! Tenkai's energy reaches new heights as he prepares to confront Goku. The battlefield becomes tense, with everyone watching the imminent collision between the two titanic powers. Goku assumes his fighting stance, the aura of Ultra Instinct surrounding him. His eyes fix Tenkai with determination. Come on, Tenkai! I won't let you harm my universe any longer! As Goku prepares to face Tenkai, the Furious God releases a wave of black energy that spreads rapidly, plunging the entire battlefield into oppressive darkness. The sky of planet Earth, once lit of hope, is now dominated by intense shadows. <laughs> you do not understand the power of a god! Prepare to witness the darkness that will engulf this universe! The dark aura rises. 
obscuring even the starlight. Gohan, Piccolo, and Vegeta, even from a safe distance, feel the crushing weight of the darkness that Tenkai has unleashed. Goku, at the happy center of the darkness, stands firm. His hair begins to float, and the aura of Ultra Instinct shines brightly, resisting Tenkai's dark influence. I will not let your darkness turn off the light of Universe 7! The battle between Goku and Tenkai reaches a new level, with the darkness transforming into an epic battlefield. Powerful blows are exchanged, creating jolts of energy that briefly illuminate the surrounding darkness. As the darkness intensifies around Goku and Tenkai, Goku takes a determined stance. His aura, which already glowed with the intensity of Ultra Instinct, begins to change, revealing an even more powerful transformation. A divine energy flows throughout Goku's body, creating a new aura. The time has come to show what I can really do. Gohan, Piccolo, and Vegeta's surprised looks reflect the revelation of Ultra Instinct Level 2. A form that Goku had hidden during the fight against Beerus. That's incredible! Was he holding it this whole time? <laughs> Kakarot, you truly never cease to amaze. <laughs> With Ultra Instinct Level 2, Goku reaches a new level of power, his speed and strength surpassing all known limits. Even Tenkai, the Furious God, senses an even more formidable divine aura emanating from Goku. <laughs> what is this power? Goku advances quickly, delivering incredibly fast blows that create trails of golden light in the darkness. Each movement is a celestial dance, and Tenkai finds himself unable to keep up with Goku's overwhelming speed. Goku, enveloped in the luminosity of Ultra Instinct Level 2, hits Tenkai with a quick and precise sequence of blows. Each movement is executed with divine grace, leaving trails of golden light in a dark space. Tenkai, the Furious God, begins to feel the pressure of Goku's overwhelming onslaught. Damn you, Saiyan! You're nothing but an insolent insect! The God, enraged by Goku's newly revealed ability, tries to retaliate, but the Saiyan's speed and agility are too superior. His presence on the battlefield becomes a dance of light and shadows. Gohan, Piccolo, and Vegeta watch in amazement at the intensity of the battle, realizing that Goku's hidden power is a force to be reckoned with. My father, he's amazing! I didn't know Goku had that power. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to be left behind, Kakarot. Tenkai's growing fury is evident on his face. His blows become more erratic as Goku continues to hit him with relentless precision. The surrounding darkness is broken by flashes of golden light, marking each impact. You... You... You will pay for this humiliation! As Goku continues to deliver fast and precise blows on Tenkai, the Furious God begins to react in unexpected ways. A dark energy begins to emanate from Tenkai's body. Surrounding him like a black mist, his eyes glow with an eerie luminosity as he absorbs the darkness of the universe around him. <laughs> That's not good, Goku says. Tenkai's muscle mass begins to expand, becoming more imposing and threatening. His transformation surprises even the Z Warriors, who watch in amazement at the Furious God's sinister growth. <laughs> It looks like he's feeding on the darkness of the universe! That's not good news. He's getting more powerful. <laughs> Let him get ready. I will show him the true power of the Saiyans. Tenkai, now surrounded in a dark aura, releases a roar that echoes through space. His muscles bulge, and his presence becomes even more intimidating. The darkness around him seems to answer his call. Fueling the Furious God with powers beyond comprehension. Now you will see the true extension of my power! <laughs> the 
the cosmic battlefield becomes even more tense as Tenkai, now transformed and empowered by darkness, charges towards Goku with renewed ferocity. The Z Fighters realize they face an even darker and greater challenge than they ever imagined. As the fate of Universe 7 unfolds amid growing darkness, the pressure of darkness, the despair of the Z Warriors, Tenkai's dark aura fueled by the darkness of the universe begins to exert an impressive pressure on all Z Warriors. Gohan, Piccolo, and Vegeta, even from a distance, feel the crushing weight of this sinister energy, which weakens their strength. <laughs> this is going to be difficult. Tenkai's darkness is affecting even our powers. <laughs> That's not possible. Despair grips the Z Warriors as Tenkai's power not only increases but also weakens their opponents. Goku, even in his advanced Ultra Instinct form, feels the resistance of darkness against his power. This energy, it's as if it's draining the strength from all of us. Tenkai, now shrouded in a black aura, mercilessly charges at the weakened Z Warriors. Each blow from him seems to suck even more vitality from the heroes, who struggles to maintain their defenses. You cannot escape the embrace of darkness! My powers are now negligible! Faced with the oppression of darkness emanated by Tenkai, Vegeta cannot contain his anger. His burning eyes reflect frustration and determination at the same time. With a cry of fury, the Prince of All Saiyans advances towards Tenkai, determined to challenge the nefarious influence of darkness. Damn! You are nothing more than a cheap trick to threaten the true warriors! Vegeta concentrates all ki and delivers a powerful blow towards Tenkai, but a barrier of black energy appears surround of the furious god, preventing the Prince of All Saiyans to attack. <laughs> what? <laughs> you are mere insects. Not even your powerful prince of all Saiyans can break through the barriers of darkness. Die! Vegeta's frustration is palpable. He repeatedly strikes the barrier, but it remains impassable. The continued weakened due to the oppressive presence of darkness only intensifies the prince's fury. <laughs> Bastard! The other Z warriors watch helplessly as Vegeta faces the barrier that prevents him from attacking Tenkai. The situation seems increasingly desperate, with darkness enveloping not only the bodies, but also the hero's hope. Vegeta! We can't beat this guy. Not like this. We need to find a breach in his defenses. But how? As the fight continues, Vegeta's wrath is challenged by the dark resistance. The challenge to overcome adversity becomes even more crucial to save not only the Prince of the Saiyans, but the fate of the entire Universe 7. Faced with the oppression of Tenkai's darkness and Vegeta's inability to break through the barriers, Goku realizes the urgency of the situation. With determination, he focuses his ki, raising it to levels that defy darkness itself. An intense luminosity surrounds Goku, who reaches a firm stance against the darkness that permeates the space. <laughs> Darkness will not prevail! A blast of energy that cuts through space towards Tenkai. Intense light radiates, breaking through the shadows. And for a moment, the darkness seems to recede before Goku's power. <laughs> You're stubborn, Saiyan! The darkness around Tenkai trembles under the Kamehameha's overwhelming force, but the furious god is not easily defeated. His counterattacks, using his darkness to absorb part of the impact and dissipate Goku's energy. Kakarot, you must keep going! Goku, feeling the intense pressure of darkness, decides to increase his power even further. He channels his energy beyond limits, his eyes shining with transcendental determination. The Kamehameha becomes even more intense, and Goku appears to be in direct communion with the cosmic forces around him. I can't let the darkness win! 
the cosmic confrontation reaches its peak when Goku, in her Herculean effort, launches a second, even more powerful Kamehameha. Space trembles at the magnitude of this battle between light and darkness. Faced with the oppression of Tenkai's darkness and Vegeta's inability to break through the barriers, Goku realizes the urgency of the situation. With determination, he focuses key, raising it to levels that defy darkness itself. An intense luminosity surrounds Goku, who takes a firm stance against the darkness that permeates the space. As Goku continues his titanic fight against Tenkai, the cosmos shakes with the intensity of the cosmic battle. At the height of the confrontation, a voice resonates in Goku's mind, interrupting his thoughts and catching his attention. Goku, listen to me. Surprised by the unexpected telepathic communication, Goku pauses for a brief moment, focusing his mind on the familiar voice of Universe 7's God of Destruction. <laughs> Beerus, what's going on? You're facing a formidable enemy, Goku, but don't let yourself be carried away by the spear. There is something you need to understand. Beerus' voice conveys an unusual seriousness, revealing genuine concern for the outcome of the battle. <laughs> Say it, Beerus. What should I understand? Tenkai's darkness cannot be defeated with brute force alone. Something more is needed. Something beyond physical power. You need to find inner balance, Goku. Goku. Absorbing Beerus's words contemplates the truth behind the message. The battle is not just physical, there is a spiritual dimension that needs to be explored. <clears throat> Got it, Beerus! And we'll try to find that balance! Thank you. <clears throat> the telepathic communication ceases, and Goku returns to face Tenkai with a new understanding. He focuses not only his physical strength, but also his mind and spirit seeking to balance necessary to face the darkness of Tenkai. The cosmic struggle continues, but now Goku embraces not only the physical energy but also the spirituality that may be the key to overcoming the darkness that threatens to consume the whole Universe 7. To be continued. So hey, what do you believe and what do you imagine about all of this? Don't you forget to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos! And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.